is the SME Hub and I'm speaking to Christine Rita Abangwa, the founder of Secure the Bag Africa, which is a high performance coaching platform. Christine, we're talking about when people turn their backs on you for this afternoon on the SME Hub. Now we know entrepreneurship is not all rosy, especially when you leave a full time employment to go solo. Today, I'd like us to look at how your relationship and networks change when you no longer have the benefits of a big brand behind you. That's right, Xenia. You know, building your own brand from scratch can be a daunting task, not just because of what is involved in building the business, but because of the way people respond to you. A lot of times we believe that the people in our networks will be our first customers or supporters because they know us. We know what they like and they are easily accessible. However, sometimes people keep you in the box in which they found you. A lot of professional relationships are developed based on the roles you each play in the organizations you represent. When you represent an organization, it extends your networks and associations. So there is a lot that is attached to each person's name. You have access to certain opportunities and spaces because of the organization you represent. So what happens when you do go solo? When you decide to go on your own, it isn't automatic that you'll retain your access to those people and spaces. If you're one of those people whose influence in your industry diminishes because you've left your job, then you may find that the people who used to respond to you quickly and favorably become harder to reach. So building your own brand from scratch often means establishing networks that are aligned to that brand? Yes, and you also need to know the difference between who is in your network and whose network you are in. Just because you consider someone part of your network and readily support them doesn't mean they consider you to be in theirs. That's where the disappointment really hits. You thought people were in your corner and they're really not. They were just for what you were for and against what you were against, you know? Then again, this shouldn't stop you from building strong networks while you are working. The point here is to develop a reputation of excellence as an individual so that you have more support when you do go solo. The Power Hour, a show for aspiring and operating entrepreneurs. We speak to young business leaders, business leaders, look at the African economy and the opportunities it offers. The Power Hour, your entrepreneurship hub, Mondays to Fridays between 5 and 6 p.m., exclusive to Energy 100, The Power Station. Power Station. Power Station. Proudly brought to you by Lexna Insurance. Lexna Insurance, fighting for your rights. Now it is easier said than done to accept that once you have decided to leave your job and start your business, you may lose the support of people you thought were in your corner. How do we navigate this new reality? Focus on your value. Just keep swimming, especially when people try to undermine you or question who you think you are to do what you're doing. When people stop responding to you the way they used to, it's time to accept and realize that things have changed. You have begun your evolution from employee to business owner. So it's time to build networks of partners, associates, and clients who value what you have to offer and are willing to invest invest in it. What about partnerships? Doesn't it help to partner with people who can strengthen your brand? Be sure to collaborate with people who will not engulf or overshadow your brand. Also ensure that your partnership is complementary. You shouldn't be competitors. Rather, you should balance each other's weaknesses and boost each other's strengths. And I'd just like to add, don't take it personally when people walk away from you when you no longer represent what you did before or when they no longer gain certain things from being associated with you. It is the nature of people to want to be around what is beneficial and successful. Be grateful that you now know what you're dealing with and keep it moving. Value those who stay by your side and are willing to assist you. Christine, before I let you go for this afternoon, please tell us more about what you do and how people can get in touch with you. Xenia, as a purpose catalyst, vision implementer and startup strategist, I work with individuals and companies from all over Africa to help them create or enhance their businesses and careers based on their unique visions. 
I also run a series of online programs and I teach people how to find and develop their own coaching niches so that they can empower others too. You can follow Secure the Bag Africa on Facebook and Instagram to get in touch and watch our Pan-African business webinars and find out about our masterclasses.